RadicalPrep.com. How's it going, everybody? We're going to do question 19 here. This is on the free PDF test, and it goes like this. The cube above has side lengths measuring X inches. What is the length of the longest line connecting any two vertices in terms of X? So maybe the first thing I'll do with this question, what I like to do with a lot of them, is just label what I know. I know the sides have length X, so I'll do those. And it wants to know, where is the longest line in this cube? Well, obviously it's not going to be just from one vertice to one vertice. And vertice is just another way, way of saying the corners. So it's not going to be there to there. It's not actually going to be going from this corner to this corner on the base. What you have to picture is it's actually going to be going from the nearest corner all the way on the opposite side on that diagonal to the farthest corner. So, or the farthest corner. So we're actually going through the cube now from the bottom all the way to the top. So that's the, that's the line or the length we're looking for. And the tough question is how the heck do you find it? Well, first thing we're going to do is if, if you kind of see here, it looks like I ended up making a triangle by accident, but it wasn't an accident. And we want to find that this is the hypotenuse, our, our line that we're looking for, but we want to find this length and we want to find this length. Okay, so what we can do is we want to, the harder one to figure out is actually this one right here. Okay, and I'm going to switch the pen for a second. I'm going to put it on a blue pen. But if you see here, this diagonal that runs across the base of this square, this box, or this cube, is actually the diagonal of a triangle that goes like that. And this is actually a right angle. I know it doesn't look like it, but, but just imagine if you're peering through the box and you're looking down through it, you know, all the corners would have right angles, right? So we're going to fill in the rest of the sides. Let me switch back to black here. I just like the, the black ink better. So that length is X. The one that goes all the way back there is X. And if you remember the rules that I've showed you before, how do you find the diagonal? And this is actually a 45, 45, 90 triangle because we have two sides that are equal and a right angle. So if you've got a side and you want to find the hypotenuse, I don't know if you remember this, you multiply by radical 2. So if that's x, that one right there, the diagonal, is x radical 2. So the hypotenuse here is x radical 2. All right, and you can do Pythagorean theorem and, and you know do x squared plus x squared equals c squared, and you get 2x squared equals c squared. And you can go through that, but I'm, I'm kind of showing you the shortcut here. How do you, you know, SAT is all about shortcuts and taking less time to do things. Just trust me, multiply by radical 2. Okay, so now, let me switch back to the blue. We found this one here, or that side length of this triangle. We need to find this now. But actually, we already kind of know that, because what is that? Isn't that length the same as this one? And it's just a side. So that's going to be x. Let me fix that a little bit. That's going to be x. So now we've got, and I'll, and I'll reproduce this triangle over here, but it goes, kind of looks like this from the picture. Right? That's just that one right there. And we've got x radical 2. That's x. We want to know what that diagonal is running through from there to there. Well, now we can just do Pythagorean theorem, right? I'll just write Pythag theorem. That's all we're doing here. We'll set that up. X radical 2 squared plus X squared equals that side squared. And remember, when you square this, you got to square each piece. So that's X squared radical 2 squared is just 2 plus x squared equals something squared. x squared times 2 is just 2x squared plus x squared. And let me just combine this here. We've got 3x squared equals something squared. And the last step is, oh, excuse me, take the square root of both sides. That knocks out the um, that squared. Now we've got x rad 3 equals what we're looking for, choice D. So the main, the main way or the, the 
the trick here is you got to know one it's from this corner all the way up to that corner and that diagonal on the base is really really important all right I hope that helped you guys out if you need any more help definitely visit my website at radicalprep.com all right guys take care